even arrived for me yesterday all the way from China of course it was advertised as an SI4732 uh, receiver doesn't have a manufacturer's name of any sort on it as a lot of these things don't know I think it's based on an Arduino with a 4732 or 4735 chip in there which does most of the uh, most of the work and this little unit uh, covers broadcast FM from 76 to 108 megahertz uh, and then uh, long wave medium wave and short wave bands and we'll just have a little closer look at the unit on the left here we've got uh, a little OLED screen anyone that uh, has experience of the jumbo spots, the Chinese jumbo spots, uh, hot spots used in amateur radio might recognize the screen looks about the same size, I think it's a one inch or a one and a half inch OLED screen we've got a series of buttons on the front for band change here for volume up and down here we can alter the tuning step here the bandwidth here and I'll show you the receiver has a number of bandwidths in um, shortwave mode We've got a mode button here because the unit uh, does um, single sideband, although I'm in contact with the supplier at the moment because I think this is a detec uh, defective unit because my uh, SSB uh, doesn't seem to work on this uh, radio. Well, we've got an um, AGC, which I took to mean an automatic gain control. Um, as we'd know that on most receivers, that would be um, AGC fast, slow and maybe off. In fact, this is an attenuator button, as you'll see in a moment. Um, when you press this, you get the option of AGC on, which is uh, full receive sensitivity. Then you have two degrees of attenuation. Got quite a decent speaker in the top of the radio here. And uh, to be honest, sound quality is pretty good, particularly on FM. It's in a metal case. And at the rear, we've got... Um, is that a micro or mini USB? One of the old style ones for uh, for charging. That's our on and off switch. It's like a little micro switch. I'm not sure how long that would last in constant use. It's quite a small, as I say, micro switch. We've got a little LED which illuminates when you've got the charger connected. Headphone socket. A BNC antenna socket. And this socket, I believe, or this, sorry, this switch here switches the antenna uh, between the uh, AM uh, shortwave bands and the FM band so that's pretty much it we've got four feet on the bottom of the metal case I'll just switch it on quickly at the, we've got no antenna connected at the moment but I'm not certain this camera will pick up the screen very well um, it doesn't pulse or flash like that. I'll um, give you a better shot of that screen when the receiver's in use. But it gives you a little idea of it. And um, as I say, first impressions seems quite well made. It does work. It works well on FM and works pretty well on shortwave. I'm not at home at the moment, so I can't try it on the main antennas. But even on its telescopic, as you'll see, it works reasonably well. But there does seem to be an issue with the SSB uh, switching. There is no documentation whatsoever with this unit. So um, if you're looking for instructions, you won't get them uh, when you get the radio. There's a few videos of this being used on um, YouTube. But there's not much in the way of instructional uh, videos. So maybe I'll, I'll try and do one. But uh, we'll have to bear in mind that this unit isn't uh, quite fully functional. And I'm uh, waiting to hear from the supplier as to whether it needs to be uh, returned or not. Anyway, that's just a very quick uh, intro. The radio does come with a telescopic antenna that connects to this BNC at the back. And I, I have tried it and it does work. And uh, next video will be a short demo of it on uh, Broadcast FM. Where it actually has an RDS function. It's not particularly good, the RDS, but uh, you will get a partial name of the station up. And uh, as I say, also works reasonably on, on AM on shortwave, but can't get it to do SSB. Anyway, there we go, the SI4732 uh, Chinese built receiver.